So if you saw the title of the video, you already know what this video is going to be about. And I hope that I can get through it without yawning so much I have to put a shit ton of jump cuts in here. So, Markiplier's Edge of Sleep just came out. Um, it's a Q code produced uh, story. They did the original um, audio podcast, audio story, whatever you call it. It was on several streaming platforms that you could you can still go listen to it. I've listened to it. I don't know, maybe five or six times whenever I have run out of stuff to listen to, I go back to it because the story is just really interesting. I definitely like the way they produced it. And it's one of those things that I've been looking forward to this for a while. Ever since he said that he was making it, I was like, oh man, I really liked the audio. I would love to see how it is when it's adapted into a film or a show, whatever. Um, and so then, you know, several years ago, he told us that it was going to be a show and those years have passed and now it's out. It's on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, so you do need an Amazon Prime Video subscription. Just as Mark said, you can try the free trial if you don't have it. I have it because I used to watch the Grand Tour and I watch several other shows. So for me, it's something that it wasn't an issue. I already had the subscription to do it. So um, if you don't have it, you can do a free trial. Mark also recommended but didn't recommend that if it's not you know in your country which i think is anywhere out of the u.s that you may need to use a vpn that's up to you if you really want to watch the show so i decided i would just go ahead and binge it because i've been waiting on it and well i mean hell the announcement was out i went and watched it and here's my initial thoughts um i thought it was pretty good overall uh it's only six episodes so i think that i can't remember for sure if the original audio was uh six or eight i think it might have been six um episodes in that so it just it tracks with that there is a like a, a little subplot of the story like an event that happens that's not in this show um so that was one of those things that I kept waiting on, but I sort of got by a certain episode that like, oh, that's not going to happen this time, which is fine. It is not necessary for the story. The way it is, is perfect for the way that they did the show. And, you know, listening to the audio and then my imagination creating what I thought the characters would look like or how they would like, of course, I thought Mark was Mark, but the other individuals that are in in the uh like the audio cast is i just had a different way of uh, picturing them in my head and then you know putting actors to those characters uh it it was for me a little bit of a, a getting a, an adjustment which uh is just a me thing but i actually thought the whole cast did a great job i thought they acted excellent my favorite character besides like mark did a really good job but i really liked mateo i thought he was pretty funny in this he was just really funny and all the parts that he was in throughout the show um i feel like he had pretty good chemistry uh you know with mark's character um and it's one of those things where like the the supporting actors are really important to make the story work and the way that they sort of condense the stuff that you get because i don't know there there are certain parts of like the audio version that were more more horror-esque uh in like the nightmares and then like some of the the back uh flashbacks um than they were in this which they seemed way more trippy than they did horror i don't know that's just something that my mind did but either way I thought that the show was great. I really liked the cast. It's easily digestible. It's only six episodes. Each episode is 20 minutes long and it has an intro. And if you don't want to watch the intro or the credits, uh, you can probably save yourself about two minutes. So it's, it's 18 minutes an episode really um, for you to go and watch this program. So Mark has a goal to meet. Um, I'm not here to tell you that we should meet that goal or do whatever. I'm just here to tell you that you should go watch the show just because like it's a good show. Um, I've been really waiting for Iron Lung because I thought that game was incredibly interesting. Mark's play of it was really good, but I watched several other people's. I went and bought it and played it before um, the announcement for the movie came out. And then 
the announcement for the movie came out and I've been waiting on that. So it was really nice to see something that was filmed way before Iron Lung is finally being put out. But in my opinion, the Edge of Sleep show is well worth watching. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't know what to expect going into it uh, specifically. But, you know, being that it's one of the first times you get to see Mark do any sort of acting, I feel like in the first couple of episodes, he was a little bit rusty. But, but then by the end, he was actually like way more fluid. He seems to hit his stride i don't know how they filmed it because you know they don't always film things chronologically to whatever it is the show or movie and so you have an issue where you will film stuff in different places there's just something about his character now his character is an awkward person so if that was what he was going for he did a fantastic job um and you know the rest of the cast did a phenomenal job um being you know supporting to mark's role but they all felt like they had a really good showing their own place in it um kid mark or you know kid david because that's mark's character's name um i i thought that kid was really good um he just i have of all the most convincing acting like part of it was him like there were just moments and and it's not even that he has like a lot of things to say just like the stuff he was doing just felt kind of natural i don't know it was one of those things that stood out to me that that little davy was like i don't know just really entertaining uh just uh based on his behavior and then his interaction with a doctor that's trying to help him from the past but again you know the, the show i think it's it's really weird because it's kind of suspenseful and serious and then there are moments that are way less serious but i mean really but by the time you get to episode five or six you can definitely tell that like i don't know what it was that the animations the like weird trippiness and and the the acting just got to a point where i was like i i, I kind of forgot that i was why i was watching the show like it wasn't just like in the beginning it was like oh i want to see if this is good and by the by the end of the show i was like just in the show i i would have forgot that it was a, a major youtubers project i was just like watching it going oh wow no this is like really entertaining so so i guess kudos to mark his cast and amazon um and then you know q code for letting him make the stuff from the story um it was it's super interesting and even beyond that it sets it up where there could be more like it literally ends with maybe there's a season two or maybe there's a continuation or maybe there's never or maybe there's nothing it kind of sets up a, a cliffhanger i guess um and who knows if we'll ever find out what happens or why that that it went the way that it did because it kind of feels like it ends abruptly like you know the season was like waiting for season two to be approved um but you know people have to watch it and mark has to be validated in the stuff that he makes in order for them to go ahead and do that because unlike hbo and max or whoever the hell uh they're not just gonna green light a season two like they did velma thank god that shitty ass show is canceled now so you know that's a plus not have doesn't have anything to do with this video but um just something i wanted to throw out there so i actually I, I, again i'm gonna just repeat myself it's really late and i'm kind of tired i'm trying to keep my thoughts together and i know i'm ranting on about it but um i thought it was really good i thought that it was it's well worth watching you should go uh watch it on prime do whatever you know you got to do i'm probably going to re-watch it i have some friends that i'm going to send it to some family i'm going to send it to um just because like i the th being somebody who was such a big fan of the the audio version um it's well worth re-watching this like if i listen to that so many times it's worth re-watching this just to see the things the little bits and pieces that i missed um but besides that i'm really looking forward to iron lung i'm hoping that if 
if since iron lung was shot after this that mark is a bit more you know natural and loosey-goosey because you know i don't know there's a little bit of stiffness in the show i'm not going to say that it's perfect because it's not perfect but it is it is entertaining and i would recommend that people go watch it so um if you're interested i've already told you what to do and um i guess i'll see you guys in the next video and then i have a video for the announcement of thank miss which is which was announced today but i'm gonna put that in another video about my plans for that and the stream that i'm planning on doing this year we're just gonna see how it turns out but other than that i hope you have a wonderful beautiful day and i'll see you in the next video peace